All right, hey guys, we're going to try Newton's third law lab today. Uh, so I'm going to give you some quick instructions on how to set up the lab and run the lab and collect the data, and then you're going to take it from there. Okay. So for this one, we're still going to need a lab quest, and we're going to need two motion detectors. Oh no, I got that wrong. Two force detectors. So started up the lab quest. And unlike the motion detector, the force sensor plugs into the side of the lab quest. Right here. And it doesn't matter which one they go into. And as soon as the lab quest comes on, it'll see the force sensors. And in the meantime, make sure you get an elastic band that you're going to use. And other than that, you need to make sure that there is two partners collecting the data. And one of the keys with this lab is zeroing the force sensors so that they read zero when they're not under uh, any force applied. So as soon as we boot up, we'll do that. Um, and I'm also going to remind you how to properly shut down the lab quest at the end as well. OK? Mm -mm. So you can see now that it's booted up, the, the two force sensors are actually uh, identified here on the screen. Um, but you can see that they're not actually zero. So in order to zero these force sensors, you can just leave them on the table horizontally. And if you click on one and zero it, and click on the other and zero it, now you can see that they're reading basically zero. The other trick is, because we're moving them in opposite directions, we want one to read a force in the negative direction and the other to read a force in the positive direction. And that's all explained here in the procedure. So we're going to click or touch one of the force sensors and click the box that says reverse. So now one will read negative. I'll show you this. And one should read positive. So there's the positive reading. And here's the negative reading. And on our force sensors, we're also going to make sure that our switch is switched to t plus or minus 10 newtons on both. And that just tells us the sensitivity, that we can apply up to 10 newtons, and it'll register on our lab quest. So I think we're ready to take some data. The duration currently is set to 10 seconds. And looking at the procedure, I don't see um, any instruction changing that time. Uh, and actually, no, now I do. It should be five seconds. So we're going to change the duration to five seconds. All right. So we should be ready. So as soon as we hit play, we're going to each, so pretend this is partner one and pretend this is partner two. And separately, you're each going to pull on your force sensor and observe what you feel. So we're going to press play, and partner one and partner two are going to pull, and maybe you'll generate a graph that looks something like this. So this is what you'll be analyzing. In the next part of the experiment, you're going to put a, an elastic band between the two hooks, and you're going to conduct the experiment in the same way now with an elastic band and observe what you feel and what you see. OK, and so from there, you're going to go ahead and answer all the appropriate questions, complete the lab, and then now I'm going to show you how to shut down properly because I forgot to in the last video. It's real easy. And if you don't do it, what happens is the lab quest goes on standby, and the battery kind of gets ruined as it's trying to charge. So all you want to do is press the Home button, touch system, and then shut down. And it is going to ask you if you want to discard your data. That might remind you that you need to save it. But if you don't want to save it, you say OK. And that's it. 
all right?